For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. In this hour, the enemy, the thief, is trying to launch fear against the body of Christ. Yes, he's trying to launch the fear against the body. And the reason being that a lot of you are coming into the dimension of your breakthrough. For what the Lord has called you to do in this hour, God is breaking through so many things to bring liberty in which you have been waiting for. Remember, I believe I shared a word concerning the word of September and helping you to understand that the anointing shall destroy the yoke. So this is the hour the Lord is calling you to rise up in what? in boldness to advance because you know why the enemy has already been defeated the book of first john chapter 2 declares that you have already overcome the wicked one satan knows that his time is short for what he has done in your life for the damage that he tried to bring against your life against your family your business your ministry he knows that his time is short and hence the reason why he's trying to use fear to delay the process but not in you you because boldness is inside of you now you begin to understand in acts chapter 4 the bible says from verse 23 on their release peter and john went back to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them so when they heard this they raised their voices in prayer to god sovereign lord they said you made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them you spoke by the holy spirit through the mouth of your servant our father david why do the nations rage and why do people plot in vain so you can see this is the plan of the enemy against every, you know the body that he's what he's planning and what is the plan is releasing fear so you can see and it says the kings of the earth rise up and the rulers they band together against the what the lord and his against his anointed one indeed herod and pontius Pilate met together with the gentiles and the people of israel in the city to conspire against your holy servant jesus whom you anointed so you can see the conspiracy that is happening behind the scenes so that's why the bible says we are not ignorant of the devices and one of the devices that he uses is fear it is not that you can start that business but he's trying to use fear and saying look at your brother look at your sister they couldn't even do it what makes you think you'll be able to do it look at for some people it's about to get married and you're afraid to get married why because you're seeing divorce on the left you're seeing divorce on the right maybe in your family they are not staying married and you're thinking to yourself if i get married too maybe it will end in divorce you can see the fear that is trying to launch at you for some people is to start your ministry and you've looked at it look at everybody they're doing this thing am i able to it is fear he's trying to use it to hinder you from starting what the lord has in instructed you to start and helping to see that what you're doing was not making sense at all neither would it achieve anything but he says i have not given you the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind so whatever the lord is calling you to do in this hour rise above the voices that is trying to limit and say to you that you can't because you can he has given you the authority he has given you dominion so if he has instructed you that's because he has gone ahead Ahead of you so in this hour the bible tells us in verse 29 of chapter 4 the book of acts it says now lord consider their threats the threats of those fears consider it and enable your sons to speak your word with great boldness so to enable you to do what he has called you to do with great boldness if it's to basically you know uh, go to to somebody that the lord has instructed you to go to you do it in boldness if it's to start whatever that he has called you to start you do it with what with great boldness if it's to speak the word of god to your government you do it with great boldness if it's to speak to your boss or to speak to any person that the lord has instructed you to you speak with what great boldness if it's for you to go to do something to pray for somebody you know to do it with what with great boldness so you can see now it gives you the promise that he says that what in the prayer in which they pray it says now stretch out your hand as i move in great boldness to heal perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant jesus so as you go forth in boldness that he has called you to go forth you will see the signs you will see the wonders you will see the victory that the lord has already ordained because remember second timothy chapter 2 chapter 1 verse 7 it says for the spirit god gave you 
does not make you timid. It has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. I bless you with this dimension in Jesus' mighty name. Go forth because you are the victory of the Lord. Amen. And in 1 John 2, it says you have already overcome the wicked one. He knows that you are an overcomer. So you're not defeated. <laughs> you're victory. Amen and amen. God bless you.